Ohio University has a long history with musical acts and concerts, but the time of year that rules the concert scene at OU is spring. From the Number Fest to last year's B.O.B. and Far East Movement concert, spring is king when it comes to concerts in Athens and the students of Ohio University love it. But let's take a step back and see how it all began and why it is that this tradition still goes on. It started in 1971 as the Southern Ohio Folk Festival, a two-day event featuring over a dozen artists. In 1973, they took the folk out of the festival and created the Ohio University Music Festival with music for almost everyone. It featured big names such as Bruce Springsteen and the Eagles. Over time, it became known as the Spring Festival and eventually Spring Fest. The Spring Fest seemed to struggle each year whether it was because of finances, anti-Spring Fest administrators, or unpopular artist selections. But what finally did it in was the law changing the drinking age from 18 to 21. In support of this law, in 1989, Ohio University banned all alcohol sales at campus events. Springfest would not be back the next school year. Instead, a group of residents on Palmer Street created their own party, and the street fests were born. Out of the ashes of the Southern Ohio Folk Festival came the street fests and the spring concert. And although the spring concert is one day shorter and several bands less than its ancestor, it still serves its purpose of bringing the students together for a good time. The mission of the Performing Arts Series and the Concert Series is not only it's to provide cultural enrichment and entertainment for university students, but also university community members, meaning faculty, staff, as well as the greater Southeast Ohio community, and bring large, uh, big name entertainment to Southeast Ohio at a fraction of what it would cost to see them in another town. So, out of the concert series, I just I feel like OU is such a great school, but we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? So, the goal of the concert series is to make sure that students don't have to travel to Columbus and don't have to travel to Cincinnati to see great artists. You know, we have a good population here. We have, you know, it's a cool city. We want to be able to bring people here instead of having our students have to leave to go you know, great shows. So the goal of the concert series is definitely be able to have students be able to stay in Athens to see really great acts. This year the combo concert, I mean, it was a success last year, but I think even more so this year it's going to be a success because, you know, people went last year and were like, oh, this was such a great show. They're looking forward. They're expecting to have that now. It would be hard for me to choose one performance that's kind of been the most beneficial. We we have a lot of opportunities to reach different populations on campus. Uh, we do a lot of performances. For instance, this coming February, we're going to be doing uh, a magician named Bill Blagg. But in the morning, we're going to bust in school children from, from Athens County and the surrounding counties um, to see a performance of, of the science of magic. So it's going to be uh, an educational kind of bus in opportunity. So for me, those are the those mean the most to me, seeing children from all over Southeast Ohio who, who have never been in a theater or inside of a big hall or seen a big show. So seeing the impact that the university can have on the greater community, from that point of view, those are the most impactful. For us, it's about bringing as many shows as possible to the university students and, and the greater Athens community. So the more and more we can do, the more and more choices we can offer, uh, the happier we are. Is, you know, a lot of people will come up to me and go, you know, no matter who we choose, there's always someone that's like, why didn't you bring this person? Like, like I'm not even a big fan of Mike Poser, but I decided to book him because I knew he would put on a good show. I knew people would buy tickets. So I'm doing this for the most, you know, for the majority of students.